watermelon lovers, here we go. This is something that I like to do and it's always a pleasure in having this for uh, the friends coming over in the dinner table and it's nice and easy to do and it's, it's a great dessert and really easy to, uh, to put this together. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a, a fruit basket using the watermelon. I'm going to cut the two cheeks off the side of it. I'm going to use a handle. I'm going to uh, make this, uh, this into a simple, uh, really nice presentation dish that can go for desserts and uh, it can be used outside, inside barbecues, uh, for dinner parties as desserts. So, so um, we're going to, when we're going to cut this and make the basket, and I'll show you, we're going to bring it down to either end of the watermelon and that's going to make the, the base of, uh, of the fruit basket. And we're going to keep a, a strip, probably 20 centimetres in, <clears throat> in, in width, and that's what's going to be really the handle of the basket. So, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut at the top, and as I said, we're going to have a guideline of going right down to half the melon. So holding it nice and steady, again, sharp knife, and cutting down to probably halfway down. We can swing him around, do the same on the other side. And then pretty much the same on the other side, which gives us the handle of the basket. So again, I'm going down to the half size. And then I can start at either end here, right in the middle, stick the knife in at the top end and bring it round to where I've cut for the handle. Okay, so we can do the, on this on the other side. I can turn it on its side a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. So pretty much bringing it around and bringing it right to the middle. Again, on the other side, starting in the middle. As I said, we've gone down about halfway, so you can see that straight in the middle <clears throat> and bringing it around so it's just nice and easy. And again, where we've got this end here and basically it should be ready to come out. Okay, so what we've done here now is we've, we've cut it, just making sure that it's nice and easy to lift up. And you can see one of the pieces comes out here. Again, on the other side, slip the knife in, make sure it's cut right to the end. And again, lift. And this piece should come off as well. And there we go. Okay, so I'll put these two pieces here. And uh, there you can see the handle's already made. It's nice and easy how the two pieces are. Uh, the two pieces have come off. Now what I, what I might do is, uh, I'll just put this over to the side just for a sec, and what I'll do here, I'll bring this across, I'd just like to show you something that can complement that really well, and uh, it's pretty easy to do. Um, and we can just make slices here that can, you know, go with the fruit basket really nice and easy. So all of the watermelon is being used. I just cut this around to the side, around the edge, swing it around, do the same on the other side. And from the top, be careful of your fingers. Now you, what you've got to do here is you've got to make sure that this piece is really, there we go, you can see that's starting to lift. Okay. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do here, so you can see this piece, this is really important to make sure that the watermelon has come out here and it's, it's movable. Then I'm going to just cut this in slices. It's really quick to do this and it's just a really nice extra presentation. Make sure you hold the watermelon nice and steady. We can put one piece here and then bring a piece over here. Bring this piece out here. This piece goes that way. Bring this piece out here. I mean, this is just a nice little simple presentation thing that just makes it nice and easy. Okay, so you can see that can complement the basket really nicely. Um, when we're putting all this together and it can go on a nice big platter and just be really nice. Okay, so back to the watermelon that we're making into a basket. So the first thing we've got to do now is we've got to hold the watermelon steady and get part of the 
piece that we're using for the basket has got to come out. Now we can pretty much go around here and keep it nice and easy that this comes out and make sure there's a nice clean cut. We can go through the bottom here and just make it slip out nice and easy. Swing him around. Same on the other side. And as that goes down, it just cuts it. Then again on the bottom, so you can see that I'm just using the knife to slice in there. And basically we'll just move that little piece. And normally now this piece will start to just pop out. There it comes. And we can pop it through here. And there it comes like so. Okay, so I'm going to put that into a, a bowl that we've got here. Once I cut it up, so I'll just put this over to the side. You can see now that, uh, and I'll just give that a bit of a clean, just clean up the space here because we've had the watermelon sitting there. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do with this piece here is we're going to cut this into cubes. So we can just go... Now, this dish that I'm showing you with the basket today, we're only going to use two fruits. Um, and I've already cut uh, a little bit earlier, I've cut uh, the, the, other the other fruit, which is a pineapple. And we're going to do pineapple and watermelon in this, uh, in this basket today. So it's just going to be two fruits. You can do many others. I mean, it can be, it can be nice things like blueberries. And uh, it can be uh, other fruits that can make this really look nice. Uh, but basically what we're going to do here, and I'm just going to trim this out here because it... Okay. And then... Uh, now I'm going to show you something with a knife that I've had from a, a very good friend when I lived in France. It's a, it's a beautiful knife, especially for fruits. And we can just do a little decor uh, with the watermelon. So I'm going to use, because this is only pineapple and watermelon, I'm going to do a little mark in the side here. And we're going to use a couple of the, and I'll come back to this in a little while, but we're going to use a, a couple of the stalks from the pineapple, which are going to sit in here and be nice and pretty and push that through and just give it a nice trim so you really need a nice sharp knife for this this is where the stalks sit in for the pineapple swing it around the other side and put that in again cut it on an angle so you can see i'm cutting that like on a diamond shape where we can just slot in the pineapple stalks which just make it look nice and pretty so i'm not going to put this in at the moment but i'm going to show you where they're going to go <clears throat> so basically we'll sit this in here, which just sits really nice for the dish. So that's where that's basically where they sit. But before we do that, I'm just going to cut out some of the inside. Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking out a good part of the watermelon now from the inside. And we're going to fill this basically so we can scoop it up with a spoon. I'm not going to go the whole way of this, but what I am going to do is just take out this first layer and then I'm just going to slot this in here as we're scooping this out. So I'm not going to go too deep, I'm just going to show you how the presentation of, of this looks with it semi. There we go, the pieces are coming out and we need to cut this again. There we go. Okay, so we've got most of this out now. So what we're going to do now is I've got some of this already diced here and I'm just going to slot this in with the pineapple. And these are in cubes <clears throat> that just make this look really nice and presentable for a fruit basket. Now a little bit of passion fruit can go on this. Blueberries can sit on top which gives it a really nice colour. 
but you can slot this in and you can understand what I'm talking about when this looks nice and pretty just in having pineapple and, and watermelon and just having two fruits. You know, it can be as simple as that or it can be a lot more detail of just there we go and a couple of these cubes in here just to fill this up and make it look nice and this is a basket that just people love when they come over and they see this it's just so nice in presentation and it's so tasty when you go to eat this for a dessert okay so there's pretty much this is only two fruits as I said to you but we can do a lot more with this now because we're only using pineapple and and watermelon we can stick these two little side flowers in there and again on the other side 